Welcome to another mega exciting five minute auto pairing. So my rating my ra my opponent's rating speaks a little bit that it might be quite dangerous. Um now here, yeah, I'm I'm wondering about this Queen A five. What if I just um ignore it for a moment, go for a gambit with B six. Might be the safer thing to do. Hmm. To get some pressure. I got him thinking. Is this his peak rating or has he been much, much higher? Oh, he's been up to twenty six fifty in November twenty thirteen. He plays a move like Bishop D two. Wow. Okay, I think it's geared up for. He's expecting Queen A five. It seems. I just want to play B six and have some pressure. <clears throat> B six and have some pressure. What's it going to happen? <clears throat> Taking his position very seriously. He's using a bit of time here. A whole minute now. Is it to do with a C5 pawn? He's not routinely uh, developing. Fascinating. So something like B6, does it give me some play? I mean, that's my question, really. Sort of gambit. I was looking for a bit of a bit of counterplay for the pawn. A bit of peace activity. Possibly E6 is worth considering to stop knight D5. Even though it's weakening more dark squares, even more. But if I got to play bishop b7, rook c8, it's like a bit of a Sicilian c file, semi open file. Uh, e6, is that really terrible? I'm going to play it, I think. I'm not taking here, I think. I just want to make, make sure my pieces are working. Well together. So D five maybe. Pieces seem happy enough. The clock situation seems happy. Two minute advantage on the clock. And D six is ninety five. on e5 I'm actually putting pressure on e4 now oh, it seems still comfortable enough <clears throat> this is a poison pawn I take it I put knight on f4 instead I'll try and keep my pieces happy F4, he's winning the exchange. It's unfortunate. Didn't see that. Get, I do get my knight on F4. Maybe F5 in this particular position isn't fatal for that. Uh, diagonal, although he's threatening to win material. Let's stop B5. I want to play f5. This one plays e4. And so f5 here, he can't take because of queen g2, right? But I wonder also, is there um, bishop h6 on the cards? There's g3, 
G5, G3, H6. Hmm. If I take, is that is that's dumb? Probably. Bishop H6, G3 is dumb. Bishop F6, G3 is dumb. I take it. Uh, I think Bishop F6 is pliable though. Hang on, King. Maybe the Queen goes to over here. Uh, I was thinking massacred. Queen looks as though it could go over there. There's no G3, Queen H3. No Queen G5 coming up. G5? Just as E takes, right? Is there a knight h5? Knight h5. What am I doing with knight h5? He's speeding up, unfortunately. He's going to just double rocks. I don't know exactly my possibilities. Um. <laughs> hmm. Has he got everything under control? Can I get some compensation here? Bishop g5 to f4. Doesn't look as though there's much going on. Maybe bishop f1 first and going for the. Yeah, let's check. Am I, am I getting my queen trapped? Bishop f1 first, I think. Oh, he's got rook g7 winning my queen. All right. Will it be two pieces for the queen? Rook g7 wins two pieces. Bishop f1, g3, queen h3. You get two pieces for the queen? Oh, he's getting a mate. He's just mated me. Unless bishop f4 does anything. I think I've just been mated. Ah. Oh. Didn't see that at all. Wow, rook g7 is, is mating. There's no. I assume there's no coming back from that. Ahem. Gordon Bennett. That was fun while it lasted. Check. I can, let me get this rook back. Hang on. Queen h3. No, he didn't even play g3 for queen h3. Wow. Wow. This one? Just not be mated? Immediately. <laughs> Check. Uh, uh, no, it, it is getting mated because of Queen G6. Wow, he took me apart there. I, I just didn't see that anything happening like that. Wow. Let's let's have a look. Um, so dangerous two four two two. I thought I was doing great. Actually, <laughs> to be honest, I thought this was a great position in many respects. Uh, to play to play from some compensation here. The engine evaluation is just less than the pawn. Not terrible, it seems. Although I lose the exchange there. So rook c8. Yeah, that's c file. That's a Sicilian c file. Might as well put a rook there. Guards against bishop c5. Well, easy to say in retrospect. I didn't know I'd be losing the exchange like that. Now once I lost the exchange, I assume his advantage is systematically. Going up and up, yeah. Rook d6, top move. 51. Queen f3. Oh, that is a top move as well. Is, is this a good move? Rook d7. I think it's about g3. Does it go to rook d7 after? I wonder. 
G3. Oh, Rooney 7 is, is both good. Yeah, once he gets the rooks on the 7th, this is uh, mating 7, queen takes h5. What a move <laughs> for this mate. Yeah, what a move. And he plays the best Check. move again. I thought if g3, I might have queen takes h3, Check. delaying things. But uh, no, he actually. Well, th this is good as well. Yes. Wow. And in, in the final. Check. Yeah. If I took here, there's queen g6. Check. Mating. Crunch. Wow. I thought I was doing all right. But anyway, I wasn't. Comments or questions on YouTube? Thanks very much.